So friends, it's tough when you're a man of service and you care about what you're doing. Look at the freaking, <laughs> look. Um, I'm working on a, a man from Australia's axe. Adam, how are you tonight, buddy? <laughs> hey, bud, how, how are you doing anyways? Oh, down under there. I'm gonna tell you something. You've been a hard one, buddy, because he wanted a heavy axe, friends, for banging the big wedges and that, right? And he likes the jersey. Everybody likes the jersey patterns. They're cool axes. I love them myself. We've never seen them here. I got a couple of dandies right there that I ain't getting rid of ever because they just... We never got them here, and there was friends that were so kind to send me them. Uh, uh, Landfill Rad, I believe, sent one or two uh, jerseys. Uh, Justin Blanche, I can't remember names, but just the people who did that, thank you so much. There was a fella who, I've got a very special one that I actually got rid of, and it hurt, and it was the bluegrass. And he was kind enough, I actually forget who it is even, um, but he sent me one, friends, and it is beautiful. And I will make a wedge banger one day out of it. it is, it's being ground down many times. It's stout. It'll probably make a wicked wood splitter, but I've got a couple of good wood splitters. But anyways, anyways, Adam, you've been, I, I want to get you a jersey, but they're not heavy. They're, they're, they're just not. These ones aren't anyways. They're three and a half pounds. But I just picked out a handle. Uh, my favorite handles from freaking home freaking hardware. Freaking, freaking, freaking. Okay? And I'm telling you, buddy, here it is. Here's your axe, partner. Uh, but but I would have kicked myself because I think you said something about, could it be nice if you put it on the channel? Well, I've been working on it and I just go, we've been, it's been nuts. I'm not going to justify. But I'm putting the bang on the axe. I'm putting the, the, the wedges going in right now. Now, this head is very special. It came from a man named Dana. Dana, you're a good man. I, I You came to Buckenstock Sunday at the last few minutes of Buckenstock 2018. What a gracious man with his, with his service dog and his beautiful lady friend. You know, amazing young fella, Dana. He gave us this ax. I brought it home from Buckenstock. So this is a special head for you, my friend. And it's a special ax. It just is, okay? So Adam, it's coming to you. It, it, the fit has been great. Uh, I didn't bother doing the fitmanship on. I just thought to myself before I bang this wedge, I've got glue on it. It's drying as I speak, so I better stop mumbling. But I wanted to show you something, Adam. It's the ones with the ribs. You see, they got the ribs inside it. It stops this action. It's a good idea, but they're a bugger to work with sometimes, and these were big ones. So uh, I've got the fit. It's deadly, okay? So here's my wedge. It's a Jatoba. It's a freaking beauty. Um, and it's going on. It's going on, buddy. We're going to do it right now. I just want to make sure I got my fit going here. Ooh, it's going to be tight. <laughs> Look at how much it's going to go. I'm hoping she'll take it all. Even if it don't take it all, it's going to be a wicked fit. I'm telling you this right now. I'd like to get it, but what it's got to do is it has to actually, because you can see, see the ribs? They're right there, friends. So you have to smack the wood hard enough so that those ribs go into the compress. Into the, it's a different system. It's a different system. A press would be cool. I think one day I'll probably get a press. Probably not. I'll probably use this for the rest of my axes. This is an amazing little axe. Let's watch this go down. Adam, are you ready? I sure the hell am. Let's do it. I got a good feeling. I got a good feeling. Yeah, I got a real good feeling. Okay. Okay, so, so there we are. We're down. C. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. We've got our start. See our curl there? Whoa, that phone's interesting. Wow, look at that. Anyway, we, we started. We got a nice bang on it, but now it's time to get going. And uh, this will be interesting. This will be interesting. Th this will go. It, it'll go more. I'm putting it in the old George Vincent. And I'm going to start hammering on it. But I'm taking my glasses off. Glasses are not good luck for banging. You want to see how strong Jatoba is, friends? I just literally crack that. <laughs> 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 
Adam, I'm stoked. Freaking stoked. Look, like a ton of wedges going in. There might be a little space at the bottom about that big. I'm not, I don't, I'm not gonna hit this too much harder. I'm just not gonna do it. I might take my little, that, 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 no, I, I don't need to. It, it, that sucker's home. Maybe a little up front, I'll just mash it out. That sucker's done. Freaking done. Let's go out here. Adam, you got yourself a wicked ax, buddy. I get, I get, the, I get this down to a freaking science, eh, friends? Do you know how many of those wedges I've done now? This ain't just shooting in the dark, you know? Years ago I was, like, I mean, talking years ago, before I even started doing axes on, on my channel. Gonna watch that break some pieces off, you hear that? Here we go, here we go, listen up now. I'd be happy to get this axe, boy. Time for a belt change. <laughs> oh, come on in, guys gals, women, and children. I wanted to make an axe tonight, Saturday night. Oh, wow. What a night. I'm going in. Adam. <laughs> I just, friends, I mean... They just are lovely, these handles. They're freaking, they're, they're, they're the, they're, to me, to me, these home hard, this sounds crazy. It sounds crazy, I know. Home freaking hardware, Canadian home hardware. Home hardware. Friends, it's nuts. I, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. Where is it? Here's one right here, right there. Boom, there it is. Comes with a handle and a freaking thing, but I'm telling you, friends, I, I just, there's something about the feel of these handles. They're obviously the ob oblong, right? Beautiful. I soft have gone your handle, Adam, just so you know, buddy. I'll tell you something. My favorite axe right now, decal. Decal comes here. Remember when decal came in landfill? They came here, decal grabs this axe and he goes, oh. Dear, oh, oh, <laughs> you can't. They're, they're just. This is my ax. I've kicked the bazangas out of this thing, friends. I have kicked the snot rags right out of this thing. I can't tell you how many times. You've seen me beat this ax many, many times. <laughs> I sharpened it. I did a nice job, friends. I gotta be honest, I'm not, I, I'm not Mr. Big Sharper Darpener guy. I'm not, friends. But I, I went at it. I went at it with a flat file, a power saw flat file. And I'm gonna tell you something. Uh, I did a nice job. One little from the other day, right there, just a little one from the other day. And it, it, it just enters enough to and then pop, 
and it pops the wood. You gotta get in, right? You've, you've got to enter. The perfect ax for me, I think, is a sharp entry, like just to get busted in the fiber and then poof, push through, poof, you, you know what I mean, right? Right? I know you do. Adam. So Adam, this is a, this is a beautiful ax, buddy. It is a beautiful, beautiful ax. It's got a nice profile on it, see? It's not, a, it's not a chopper, it's a splitter, buddy. It's, it's a good splitter. You can do whatever you want with the edge. I'm not going to get excited on it. I'm going to do what I do with my, my uh, I'm going to make you a nice sharp edge. I'm going to give it to you, the sharp, and, and the sharp with the blunt, blunt uh, breakaway. Oh, yeah. Adam, she's done, bud. I'm going to stamp it. I'm going to wad cut, and it's going to be game on. We did it, Adam. Over and out, buddy. Be kind out there.